Adoma. Welcome back to my channel, guys. Before I start working on the RAM, please help me subscribe to my channel. Click that bell notification so every time I have new video, you guys will be updated. But I'm working on a uh, 2015 RAM 1500 5.7 liter. So right now the uh, check engine light is on. Um, let me show you the code. Now the code is for the uh, engine oil, oil filter, and the uh, engine oil pressure sensor. So uh, right here, this is the code P1524, oil pressure out of range. So uh, this is very common on Dodge, Jeep, and Chrysler, especially with the um, 5.7 and uh, 6.4. Happens a lot with the uh, engine oil is dirty, the uh, um, oil pressure sensor, uh, it died. Oil life, so the information you can see, you can see the oil says 23%. Let me show you here, the engine oil is pretty dirty and it's low. Seventy percent of the way, halfway, and it's dirty, dirty, dirty. Before you start taking out the oil pressure sensor, um, you're gonna drain out the oil first. So I'm gonna do the uh, filter first. It's on the same location um, as the uh, filter. Ooh, that's black. That's almost like diesel. Oh my god. Now on the oil filter already, I got my new one here. I'm gonna put in the new one. Just hand tighten, don't have to be crazy. There you go. That's it, wipe the spot. I'm gonna drain out the uh, oil. This is a uh, 13 millimeter. Ooh, it's dirty. It's like diesel. Things drain out already, so I'm just gonna tighten back the uh, drain bolt. So this is tight. Just snug it a little bit. That's it. Wipe the spot. The oil pressure sensor. I bought this one original from uh, Mopar here. This is the uh, part number. This is the uh, oil pressure sensor. So uh, this one's gonna be a 27 millimeter socket for you to uh, get it out now. Let me put the uh, socket in so you can see right here. Fits perfectly. There you go. Fits perfectly right there. And then I'm going to show you the location of the oil pressure sensor. It's located right here. So this is the oil pressure sensor. The one that's pointing sideways. This one right here. I'm not sure if you guys can see i'll try to show you so this one right here pointing to the side of the tire this one is oil temperature sensor now the one on top of it pointing forward towards the uh, uh radiator this one's the oil pressure sensor so what you're gonna do is you're gonna press on the tab back here press on the tab and pull on the connector and then make sure you guys check the uh the wire make sure the pin inside here is not damaged or corroded check the uh, wires in the back here make sure it's not broken or damaged and then uh, you're gonna put in the uh, socket to uh, break it loose put the uh, towel under the sensor uh, it's gonna be a little bit of oil coming out still so I'm gonna break it loose now very easy now I got the sensor all the way out already there you go here's my uh, old one make sure you guys buy um, original old pressure sensor if you guys buy it after market sometime it doesn't work so now I'm just gonna um, put in my new one and then you're gonna tighten down to all the way it almost touched at the end right here so you're gonna tighten it all the way down to the uh, uh, where the uh, Loctite stop right here almost at the uh, last thread so I'm gonna put in my new one. There you go. I'm gonna.
tighten it down with the socket. Now I got my uh, new sensor almost all the way down already, so I'm just gonna snug it a little bit so this is tight. I'm just gonna snug it a little bit, and that's it. Get the towel and wipe the spot. I'm gonna put back the uh, connector. Ow, this hurt my hand. Seriously. It doesn't matter um, where the uh, connector face. It can either uh, face up or face down. As long as the uh, sensor is tight, snug, and uh, you're gonna refill the uh, engine oil now. So this is tight all the way. It's good enough. Now you're gonna fill it up with uh, 520. Make sure you guys put the right spec because uh, Dodge Jeep Chrysler are very picky on the oil spec. So make sure you put synthetic 520. I put in seven and a half quarts already. Check the dipstick. Oh, it's right here, a little bit on the uh, high mark. So I'm gonna start the car, let the oil filter take it down, check it one more time. I started the car and then check the oil level. I had to add another half a quart. So this one takes eight quarts total. Uh, I'm gonna check the uh, level again. Oh, right on the uh, high mark, right on the dot. So this is perfect, perfect. There you go. Now I have the uh, key on right now. I'm gonna reset the oil light. So you're gonna toggle through the menu using these button right here. So you're gonna toggle through the uh, car and then scroll over to uh, oil. I'm gonna go back. There you go. You can see oil life. You can press the right button. So you can press and hold it to reset. Or what you can do is turn off the car key on and then step on the gas three times for it to reset so i'm gonna step on the gas one two three you can see it turns back to 100 there you go i'll turn off the car i'm gonna key on again to uh, clear the check engine light now i'm gonna show you the code one more time there you go that's the code uh for the uh engine uh oil pressure sensor change out the oil and the filter too now let's say if you replace the uh, oil pressure sensor already you change the oil you change the filter already and then um, you drive it a couple days later the check engine light come back the same thing so uh, what happened is your oil pump is bad so uh, for you to fix the code you need to replace the uh, engine oil pump so I'm gonna clear the code now I'm gonna show you the data again on the oil pressure on the engine oil pressure so for the uh, engine oil pressure on the data make sure it match make sure everything reads correctly so uh, make sure when you um, replace the uh, sensor uh, start the car uh, go out and check for the uh, leak if it leak you gotta uh, fix the sensor tighten it more or whatever you need to do to Get it to stop leaking so uh for the uh, idle pressure is at 54 right now which is it's almost the same thing as the one on the cluster 55 so i'm gonna leave it idle for a little bit let it warm up see it drop down to so see um where it's at so right now i'm letting the car idle i'm gonna check for the uh leak you can see there's no leak at all on the uh oil pressure sensor so that's good no leak I'm gonna let it car the uh, let the engine idle for a little bit and check the data again. Now I'm just gonna take it out for a test drive. But uh, that is it for this video, guys. So if you guys are new to my channel, please help me subscribe. If you guys have any comment, question, comment down below. Ask me anything you want to ask me. I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. But uh, no, my I'm out. I'll see you on the next video. Peace.